Meanwhile, just six days out from the election, the largest county in Arizona is preparing for hundreds of thousands of voters to vote on Election Day this coming Tuesday. Team 12's Colleen Secor is looking at how the county is preparing and what voters should know. Six days left and more than half a million early ballots ready to be reported. Somewhere between 1.4 and 1.9 million voters that will be participating in this midterm general election. And Maricopa County says they're ready for voters, anticipating up to 350,000 voters to vote in person on Tuesday the 8th, saying they're almost fully staffed at the 223 voting locations across the county, which is 27% more than in 2020, along with additional check-in stations and more. There could be lines on election day. Lines are normal. Saying voters can go online to check which locations they're closest to and have the shortest wait times. County leaders encouraging people if they're voting in person to be ready to cast their vote by looking over a sample ballot. There's a lot of races here, a lot of things to vote on. If they want to start doing some research, maybe on some of the propositions or some of the candidates, they can start doing that now to make the process more efficient. Adding if voters still have a mail-in ballot, to not send that through the mail anymore. Drop it off at a ballot drop box or a vote center. Noting, as with previous elections, all votes will not be completely tabulated on election night. Every single vote must go through the same process. The sanctity of the vote is being protected. It's the wish of everyone here and everyone in the county that everyone be able to vote free of any intimidation, free of obstruction. And of course, we've taken a lot of steps to make sure that happens. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.